So, uh, here we are with Bob Rosenbaum and Michael Hoy, two of the three originators of single session therapy. Uh, we had uh, the conference, the third conference in single session therapy in Melbourne uh, weeks ago. And now we have uh, just a few talks to talk about single session therapy stuff. So, uh, the first thing I want to ask you, to both of you is what do you think about single session therapy today? We just went to the conference and there were many people there and it was interesting and so I was thinking about why don't more people embrace single session therapy doing it one at a time each session will be a complete experience and if we need another, we can do another, but why don't people, more people go one at a time? And as I was thinking about it, I think there's at least three and maybe four or five reasons. One is the theory of psychotherapy, that you have to go slow, you have to form a slow alliance and gradually uncover the problems, all of that. So one is, has to do with the theory. A second, I think people misunderstand the idea of single session therapy. We are not saying one at a time means only one time, that you can only have one chance. So sometimes I think peop people think we are overselling. We are saying it solves every problem in one visit. I've had these problems for many years, they're complicated. They're... We're not saying that. We're saying people can get something done in one visit and maybe that's enough and then we can see. So I think the danger of overselling it. Uh, the third is money. Uh, when I talk to people who do single session therapy, they work a, in a clinic, they see people one time, they work an employee assistant, they love single session therapy. Oh, people come in, they get help, many patients, many clients like it. When I talk to people in private practice, they go one at a time, one session, no, I need to keep my regular customers coming for more money. Um, there has been a status game that long term is the best and short term is not so good and single session is just a band-aid uh, and I don't think that's true and, and in fact we know that most people do come for one time and get benefit so I think we should recognize how much benefit people get oh, yeah. uh, that, that was my thought at the conference why isn't everybody doing this yeah. more yeah. rather than why do we have to promote it why aren't people just that much more interested. I think uh, the one other thought, and I know I'm talking a lot, so let me just finish quickly. I think the one other thought I had was that students in school learn, when they learn models of psychotherapy, they don't hear a lot about brief and certainly not very brief or even single session therapy. So I think that's going to change in the curriculum, curricula at different universities when people begin to hear that one session could be the best and it should be the standard and can you help people quickly rather than four years later and five years later. So I think getting students to, to recognize, well, this is something I want to learn rather than, oh, that's, that's not the, the important thing. Okay. That, that was my yeah. take on it. Um, so th I think single session therapy today is... Uh, much like it was 30 years ago and much like it will be in 30 years, which is to say, uh, water is wet, the sky is blue. Uh, regardless of what you think or do, I, I'm almost making poetry here, regardless of what you think or do, a lot of people come to therapy once and they feel better and they don't feel a need to come back. Mm. That's always been true and it probably always will be true. Um, we've just started to realize that this happens and so the question, uh, there's a couple of questions. One is, once you realize that this happens, the realization enables a few more clients to benefit from one session rather mm. than many. It's, it's not a huge amount. The research has shown maybe an increase of 10% or so. Mm -hmm. That's good. 
but why do not why doesn't uh, why isn't this more well known? Why don't people do it more? Um, therapists are very attached to being therapists. Mm. They like to think that they're the agents of change. And Moshe, who unfortunately couldn't be here, I, I, I think the best thing he says to uh, students that I like to quote is he says to them, remember, therapy is not about you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, people's egos get involved with, well, if, if, I'm a good change agent, you know, you should be seeing me more. It's mostly up to the client and up to life circumstances, so it's humbling. Mm. Single session therapy is, is a bit of a blow to the ego, um, which is of course very healthy, but uh, a lot of people see it as a threat rather than as a relief. <laughs>